In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen here from the paper one of the Ordinary Level Leaving Cert 2004. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to the playlist in the description below. Now, I'll be doing this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing in the classroom. But remember, this isn't the classroom, you're on YouTube, so take advantage of those tools pause the video, rewind, fast forward, or slow it down if I'm talking too fast. If you find this video useful or any of my other videos, I would appreciate a like or a subscribe. And what helps out the channel the most is sharing it with someone else who could be doing the Leaving Cert. In question one, part A, they tell us that a farmer buys a new piece of machinery for 30,000 euro and it depreciates. That means decreases in value by 20% every year. So they want to find out uh, what's the value of the machine after one year and then in part two, uh, the value of the machine after two years. Now there's a couple of ways I'm gonna do this, but uh, we're dealing with percentages and I always do percentages really slowly. If you're able to do them fast on, the, on your calculator, do that. You can probably skip this video entirely. Um, what you're looking for is 20% off. So there's two things you could look for. Let's, let's start the same way. Um, 30,000 euro is 100% of this um, piece of machinery. You might be looking for either 20%, I'll do that first, and then I'll, I'll do it a different way in a moment. So how do you get 20% of this? Very quick on a calculator, um, but a lot of people don't forget how to do it. How, you, how I always show it is, start at 100, you know this is 100%, Go to 1%, it's the easiest thing to find. Divide 100 by 100, you get one. So if you divide this side by 100, you have to divide this side by 100. So you get 300, 1% is 300. So what's 20%? To get from one to 20, multiply by 20. Multiply this by 20, we get uh, 6,000. So that's, we found 20%. They weren't looking for 20% though. The, they were looking for the price of the machine. That's 20% off. So we started with 30,000 and we took 6,000 off. So the answer they're looking for in the first part is 24,000. That's full marks, that's the answer. But I'm gonna do it again. Instead of doing this way, what you probably could have done is started at 100% and got to 80%. Because remember, they weren't asking for 20%. They were asking for 20% off. 20% off 100 is 80. So you could have just gone straight to 80. Do the same way, we'd get 300. Multiply by 80, we'd get 24,000. Much quicker. And the quick way to do this in a calculator is just to multiply this by 0 0.8. And that brings us to part two. We could do the same thing here. We could start at 24,000 is 100% and get to 80. Um, that would get down to 240. Multiply this by eight, we would get, uh, I better check my notes on that one, I'm afraid. We would get 19,200. That's full marks, that's the answer. But again, you could just multiply this by uh, 0 0.8 and you'd get there a lot quicker. Or again, you could get 20% here. And 20% of that would have been uh, 4,800, which taken away from this is 19,200. Anyway, that's a couple of different ways to do part A. In part B, uh, we're told the farmer buys some livestock, that's some animals, and he pays 4,716, including VAT, that's value added tax. But they tell us the real price, the real cost of the animals was only 4,500, so before tax. So that's after tax, this is before tax. They want to find out what percentage the, the tax was. Well, the first thing we can figure out is what, um, how much was the tax? We can get this number, take away this one, and that should tell us the tax was 216. I, I should say, we don't have to do it this way. I'll show you at the end a slightly quicker way. So this is how much tax there was on this number. So this is the real price of it. So here's how I would show this. I would say 4,500 is 100%. 216 is some percent that we're looking for. 
That's, that would be the answer we're looking for, the percentage down here. How do I get from here to here? Always go through one. Divide by 4,500, you'll get to one. Multiply by 216, you'll get here. Just do the same to both sides. Divide this side by 4,500. Yeah, th that'll tell you whatever on a calculator. And then multiply by 216. So 216 times 100 divided by 4,500. All that into a calculator should give you um, 4.8%, which is full marks for part B. That is the answer they're looking for. Um, I'll just show you a different way you could have done that. Uh, the starting price was here, um, and this is the final price. You could have also, um, well, yeah, you could have done this. Uh, 4,716 was some percent. 4,500 was 100%. How did we get from here? What percent was up here? So again, we go through one, um, divide this by 4,500, we get one, multiply it by that. Uh, so this is 100 divided by 4,500. Multiply by this to get up here, 4,716 divided by 4,500, multiply by 100. And I'll point out, most people, a lot of people know just to put this in a calculator. That will get you a percent. And if you put that into your calculator, you will get, I haven't checked, but you will get one, um, 104.8%. So you see how we get 4.8 from this, a lot quicker. So just from these two numbers, we could put, we could put this number divided by this number, multiplied by 100, would tell us the answer. Uh, or at least we'd be able to see the answer quite quickly. Before tax is 100%, after tax is 104.8%. So the, the tax number is 4.8%. Now for part C, we're told the farmer also bought some land um, and it has increased by 12.5% the value of the land. And it's now worth 52,875. So they're simply asking, how much did he buy the land for? Again, I'm gonna do this the same way I always do percentages. 52,875, what percent is that? Well, it's gone up 12.5. So it's 112%. Once you can figure out, um, what, what numbers line up to what? It should be quite easy to get to. Um, they're asking you what the original price was. That's the 100% price. So we just need to get from here down to here. Go through one. How do we get from this to one? Divide by 112. So you have to be fair and divide this by 100 and 112.5. Uh, How do we get from one to 100? Multiply by 100. So you have to be fair. Multiply this by 100. And you go ahead and put all of this in the calculator. Again, if you know what you're doing, you can type this in straight away and to get your answer. This answer comes out as 47,000. I'll always double check your answer with a bit of common sense. Um, if the price started at 47,000, it's gone up 12.5%, got to 52,000. That feels about right, doesn't it? 10% of this. Should be about four thousand. Should be four thousand seven hundred. So a bit more than that. Maybe five thousand. Five thousand more than this. Fifty-two thousand. Yeah, it seems about right. It makes sense. So many students um, start with this and maybe get an answer of uh, sixty thousand. Now they should know they're wrong. There. Always use common sense at the end to check if you're right. Anyway, that's all the. That's all of part question one done. Um, if you have any follow-on questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.